time traveler from the year 5000 claims to have photographic evidence of the future, and it's not good news. The time traveler known only as Edward, has revealed a chilling glimpse into humanity's future. A man claiming to be a time traveler says he has photographic evidence from the year 5000, and it's not good news for humanity. The time traveler known only as Edward, has revealed a chilling glimpse into humanity's future. He appears in a video clutching a photo which is claimed to show life in an underwater city, believed to be Los Angeles, 3000 years into the future. Edward, who has been blurred and had his voice changed as he does not want to be identified, claims he was part of a top-secret experiment in 2004. It meant he was able to time travel, he claims, and he managed to get some photographic evidence of what he saw. Edward, who is thought to have been filmed in a park in Armenia, says he was working in a laboratory in LA when he was given the task of time traveling and taking photos. He told Yahoo News, I was standing on a huge wooden platform. Not only me, houses, buildings of course, all made from wood. And after, I realized it was the same city, Los Angeles, but underwater. Edward claims humans were forced to live underwater when the ice caps melted because of global warming. Last week a man claiming to be a time traveler from 2030 made some startling predictions about what the future would bring. The man, known only as Noah, claimed he was from the future and was risking his life by telling those in the present what the future has in store. In a new interview with Australian radio hosts, Kyle and Jackie O, Noah makes a startling claim, that Martin Luther King Jr.'s only granddaughter, Yolanda Renee King, will be President of the United States in 2030. She's 21 at the time, but they pass a new law that basically makes it so you can be younger as President. As it stands, the President of the U.S. must be 35 years old or older. John F. Kennedy was the youngest person to be elected President. He was 43 years old when he was inaugurated in 1961. Yolanda Renee King is currently 9 years old. She was named after her aunt, Martin Luther King Jr.'s eldest daughter, Yolanda, an American activist who died in 2007. The young girl has already shown she has her grandfather's talent for speaking passionately. In the interview, Noah also says that Donald Trump will be re-elected to serve a second term. But when pushed to name Trump's successor, Noah is reluctant. He said, I can't tell you the name of the next president, because first of all, he does something really bad. And he's already a political figure right now, so I can't say who he is. In a lie detector test, footage of which was released last week, Noah made a series of predictions all of which were said to be true. But people are cynical, largely because the lie detector machine was not shown in the clip the entire way through. Among his predictions are that Trump will be re-elected, that phones are going to be bigger in the year 2030 and that they are starting to introduce robots that can run a home.